All individuals are innocent until proven guilty by a court of law. Where's the county sheriff's office? Are you inside? Come out. What's up, my brother? Where you at, man? Where did you hit at? Just where the man? You're coming. Yes, sir. You want to go to jail? Is that what you want to do? What are you going to do? Where is the guy that got stabbed? We might be in the real. Definitely got some drugs. It's like trick or treating with narcotics. All right, please stand behind you, Batman. Dispatch 407 402 C40 East Chapman Street for GSW1. Oh, that's right here in front of us. 403 dispatch, show me an area of that. Okay, four. 407 okay. around. We're responding to an area where the GSW gunshot victim is down, so we're trying to get to him. He possibly has suspect in sight. Three dispatch. I'm gonna say that AGS does. What they what it look like? Who they look like? Where? Man, he ran behind the house. We're behind where? He ran behind this way. Riding this way. Get yeah. in. Get in. What's it? What he got on? He got on, on black. He got on black and what? I don't know. I don't know, bro. How's the house? Four three dispatch. They're saying a uh, suspect just ran behind the house uh, towards East Boundary Street. Uh, this. Uh, so, hey, get him out the road. Get him out the road. Suspect apparently is dressed in all black. Dressed in all black. Yeah. All right, I'm on East Walk. Let's go. Four three six five. Where you at, man? Where, where did you hit at? Six five. All right. All right. All right. Yeah, boy. Come on, take that off his arm, fool. Take that off his arm, fool. They can write that off. Man, get that pull camera out of my face. You, don't worry about that camera right now, bro. Don't worry about it, man. Don't worry about it. Man. Come on. Hell, that's it, man. Hey, they're coming, man. We had to make sure the scene's safe. Okay. Three forty dispatch. You know, okay, it's going to be a GSW to the left arm. Uh, Hold his arm right there. Hold his arm right there. Uh, Just stay tight, man. Yeah, where's the last thing? Running behind a house on uh, East Chapman Street. Like, call that way, call that way. 407 dispatch, trying to get applied. Don't touch him, let him do that. So back up. Where you hit, buddy? In his oh. arm. Let me see. Is that your only hot hit? I heard yeah. two shots go off. Okay. Yeah. Lay back for me. I don't know where the other dude ran. I had shut the door because. GSW to the left arm. 4517. Hey, stop. Turn around. Turn around. Whoa. Come here. What did I do? I, I've been, I, I just came out of Okay, that. I feel you. Put your hand on the car. Whoa. Put your hand on the car. Keep your hands on the car. Whoa. Whoa. What does, keep your hands on the car. Keep your hands on the car. Spread your feet. There's weed in your pocket. Don't. Keep your hands down. There's weed in your pocket that I felt. Where? Right here. OK. All right, please stand behind your back, man. Turn around. Turn around. Four, four, three dispatch, seen the seven in front of the uh, yellow store. I didn't do anything wrong. Turn around. I didn't do anything wrong. Are you careful? I didn't do anything wrong. Come here, stand up. What did I do? Stand up. Hey, what did I do, bro? What did I do? Four, three dispatch, I got one detained. I didn't do anything wrong, man. What did I do? I just came from my auntie house, man. <laughs> oh, man. What did I... Spread your feet. You got nothing else on you, bro? Mm -hmm. He came out of the Huh? He came out of the Nah, he was, uh... Walking down the street. He was dressed in all black, so I decided to stop him. He matched the description of a 
the shooter for there, so I just stopped him and uh, see if he had anything on him. And when I went to detain him, he took off sure. from me. Hey, G line, huh? What up, dude? Oh, that's that's take a seat, man. Yeah, that's the definition of being an idiot. He was not even going to go to jail for this until he uh, decided he wanted to fight and do all the extra stuff. So now he's going to jail for it. Matter of fact, hold on. Let me, uh, before we pull off, I want to do something. Oh, gun. Gun. Hey, bring that subject back to the scene. I checked the area where I slammed the man. There's a gun over here. He threw a gun. Two seconds. I'll be back up What that is, is what you threw. You ain't you ain't have a gun? No, sir. When I grabbed you, it, and it was a loud thud that went off. <laughs> Why you acting like you just so, like people I just leave that gun on the, gun, sir, just, it just so happened to be a gun right where you fell at, right where we were wrestling at, right where we were at. Right, no, 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 listen, right, right where we, right hey boy. Where, yeah, what's up, bro? That gun stolen out of Richmond County. Oh, it's stolen? It's stolen. Ooh, boy, you got another charge. Ooh. Hey, dog, that's cool. You gonna keep, I mean, ain't no reason for me to talk to you, right? Because you keep lying to me. And it's like, listen, listen, check this out, bro. Check this out, bro. You got felony possession. You got possession of a firearm during the commission of a crime, which is another felony. You got, uh, coming from your cousin you got a possession of a stolen sir? firearm. That's coming another felony. And then if you're a convicted felon, right. you got another felony of uh, being a convicted felon in the possession hey, of a firearm. Real quick, was you coming from so, your cousin's house? Yes, sir. Good say you ain't even make it that yet. Yeah. Good say you ain't even make it that yet. I'm gonna talk to him. All right, I got you. Man, I'm, I'm so glad I followed my intuition, man, and uh, checked that area. Because some kept telling me, go back, go back, go back, go back, go back. Probably, they're gonna do ballistics on it and make sure everything's good and it wasn't in connection to our other shooting and go from there. Someone has been stabbed, and the knife's on the counter. That's the one that was used. Okay. You're trespassing. All right, so can Period. we just leave? You're not gonna leave. You're not just gonna walk off and just leave. Stop! <laughs> I'm trying to be pa I'm trying to be patient with you. Okay, this is the last chance. Bye. You want me to touch your camera? My name is Deputy McClady. I grew up basically in Augusta, Georgia. I left here in 2010 and I went into the service of the military. And then once I got out of the service, that's when I came and joined the Mitchell County Sheriff's Office. I believe my military helped a lot. It helped a lot with my confidence. Oh, they made that left turn, I'm gonna get them. Okay. If you made that okay. left turn, I'm gonna get you. Come on. Oh, they are so smart, they thought about it. Look at them. I just received a call from dispatch saying that a homeowner is saying there's um, some trespassers in the location of Amore Avenue. So I'm being en route to this call to see what's going on. The dangers of going to a trespassing call is very high. Knowing I'm the only one on this call, I got to make sure that I have my eyes on what's going on, make sure I'm checking out the corners, making sure I'm checking around them corners, making sure I'm getting full aware of what's happening, seeing what I need to see. What's going on here? Pull to dispatch on scene. I see some lights on.
Where's the county sheriff's office? Oh, if you inside, come out. Where's the county sheriff's office? If you inside, come out. Sorry. Come out now. I was just Come like, out. Who else is in there? Uh, I don't know. I, Come out. I don't know them. Come out. I mean, I know them. I don't care. Stay right here. Yeah. Bibbs, I got three subjects coming out of this location. I'm not, ma'am, I'm not using no drugs or nothing. I was just. I didn't ask you what you were using. You know don't man. walk off. Yes, Come on. 10 4. Come here. Detain your dog. Yes, sir. Who else is in there? Oh, nobody. Don't walk off. Do not walk off. Not walking off. I need IDs. Can I reach for my wallet? Oh, reach sure. for your wallet. You don't even belong here, that. right? I'm here for a three round. So I don't know y'all like that. So I'm gonna keep my drunk, I mean, my gun drawn. Cause I don't know what y'all got. That's your dog? Yes, keep your dog detained over there. Sure. Stop moving. Okay. Pop a squat. Cross your legs. Sit down. <laughs> No. You're a trespasser, somebody else's property that does not belong to you. You're not going to charge us with anything, is you? I'm going to find out if you do got some charges. Because right now, okay. you're trespassing. That's what I'm talking I about. I don't have no charges. Now when, now, when I go off by myself, officers just be jumping on me. I'm not jumping on you. I'm talking to you right now. Y'all ain't somebody else's property that you don't belong here. All right, so can Period. we just leave? You're not going to leave. Right. You're not going to leave. You're not just going to walk off and just leave. Where are you? I'm in the back of the residence. Stand up for me. Put your hand behind your back. Oh, no, I did not come up here. Oh, you're going to slow down before you have three detainers this time. Walk that way. Rebel. Stand here. I don't understand. Stop talking. <laughs> They had me in the computer as uh, and with a fake, with some fake stuff, and I never did them. Okay, send me over there. Yes, ma'am. Hey, detain this one, because she has a one out Columbia County for instruction law enforcement officer. But I haven't never, I haven't None. Never... Here, four, three, four, eight. Oh, wait. I'm going to call records and see Columbia County wants, sir. Are they going to jail? No. You got their names? Yeah. Tell them don't come back to this location. So I can get them. And if they do come back, I'm going to arrest them. Cool. <laughs> all right. Grab your bike. Grab your doggy. Don't come back to the location, all right? It's going to be documented. Okay. I'm able to leave, yes? Yeah, you can leave. Get your stuff and go. Hello? They want her. All right. Uh, that's for Columbia County, right? All right. Thank you. So, like I said, we cleared it out. We detained one, sent the other two on their way. Stop talking. Y'all not charged. Yeah. All right. Um, I'll see you at the jail. All right. So, we're en route to assist a motorist with a DAV vehicle in a roadway. That's basically a disabled vehicle. Yeah, it look like they'd like to try to push it. Where y'all gonna push it to? Right here. All right. Hey, watch out. Hey, get out in front of the car. Get out in front of the car. What's your battery went dead or what, what, what happened? Cables, the cables with the new coil works in it. The cables with loose. Yeah, let me see. The battery cable ain't tight. Well, this one is loose. Work day at work, and this one, and then I got to get out. Nah, this tight. It looks, he's tight. Hey, hold this light for me, one of y'all. Appreciate it. You. What's your name, brother? Yeah, you look familiar. Uh-huh. Oh, you stayed on Kings? <laughs> oh, King. oh, yeah, I oh, know. Yeah, I know yeah, don't you. Don't you say a word. <laughs> <laughs> hey, <hold laughs> don't you say nothing. Yeah, I will right, say, even up. if you're a veteran, they'll still take you to jail. <laughs> Learn that the hard way. <laughs> Learn that the hard way. Oh. Yeah, yeah, I'm finna go grab it. Funny situation, right? <laughs> the police, Richmond County, come to my house for disorderly conduct, and Boyd was one of those officers that locked me up. Ain't that right, Boyd? Nah, I got no re recollection. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. That's what they all say, but it's all fun and games until you in one of them police cars, man. Yeah, yeah. That tow truck might be your best option. Over here. There we go. Uh, 
<laughs> Veterans one, <laughs> Richmond County zero. <laughs> With a hammer. <laughs> With a hammer. You, you do good, man. Just keep your hammer. Boy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he got you. Yeah. Don't hit no bumps too hard. That cable will come right out. <laughs> he don't need no help, boy. Go ahead and shake my hand so everybody know we good. And I don't blame you yes, for yes. doing your job. You feel me? Yes, sir. <laughs> I'm Jacob Severson. I am a police officer in the city of Beaverton, Oregon. And we are heading out on patrol right now to see what's going on around the city. Getting DUIs is a passion of mine because of my upbringing. I grew up with alcoholic parents and drug addicted parents. And it's just, to me, I, I remember being a kid white knuckling the back seat because I was afraid of what was happening. Because I don't necessarily want to arrest people. I don't, I don't like that. But I've been to multiple DUI crashes where people are, you know, people died because somebody else made the horrible decision to drive when they shouldn't have, and there's just no reason for it. Inventory looking at females left in the room, smaller vehicle from Creek Village, about 10 ago, just that's flavor information, zero three months. We are emergency. We're like, she's going about 35. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. 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 Yeah, that's what
I'm gonna follow you, Sarge. Gonna stay for the tow because okay. I don't want you by yourself. <sighs> this girl doesn't even realize that her her friend could have killed her and herself and any of the driver on the road, and she's sitting there swearing at us. So it, it's what it is. You almost have to just like internalize it and laugh it off. You want to just throw your hands in and be like, fine, find your own way home. But she's beyond care and control for herself, so to speak, in the in, in the aspect that if we were to leave her on the side of the road and tow that car, it's 34 degrees outside and she's she's drunk. What's gonna happen to her, right? So we need to make sure that she gets somewhere safe. Oh, is this my address? That's the address that you is gave it? me on scene. Is yes. It so? Yes. Is it? Can you? Is it? Can I show you? No, is okay. it? Is this where you wanna go? We're trying to get you home. These don't care about anybody. Also giving me too much. Okay. Do you want to go to jail? Do you want to help me? I'm trying to, but you're knocking my stuff on the ground and you're you? you're bordering on disorderly conduct, okay? Bye! Get the out of here! Go! Come on! Two step. Do I need to help you move your legs? Don't touch me, okay? Then don't touch me. Get I'm... the out of here. Okay. Go, bye. Bye. You want me to touch the camera? Hey, if you want to go to jail, bye. do not touch anybody. Get the you want to go to jail? Is that what you want to do? What do you, you want to go to jail? Do yes or no? If you, you put your hands on me again, do you will go to jail. Put, do you understand do you that? Put me in jail? Do you understand that? Put me in jail then. We're done here. Okay. Yeah, bye. That's what I've been trying to say for the last hour. Bye. My general take on police work is to be as reasonable as possible with people and not forget where I came from and how I grew up and how people can make mistakes. Could I have easily taken her to jail and had probable cause for that? Sure. But she's home, she's safe. Bye. Hopefully she just goes inside and goes to sleep and sleeps it off. My name is Deputy Gordon. I've been here for about a little over a year now. Here in Richmond County, the community doesn't trust cops. And you know, that's that's a huge thing that I'm trying to do is help the community, you know. I will always show people respect, give them the respect they deserve, because you know, I kind of expect that in return. So I am a huge believer in that. Tonight, we got a full moon. You know, I'm a little bit superstitious, so full moons uh, typically mean it's gonna be a crazy night. My name is Kyle DeCam. Gordon's my partner, so that's a plus for me. Every time there's a full moon, there's an escalation in crimes, especially violent crimes. And I've seen it. I mean, there's been, I've been a part of shootings, robberies. We just got dismatched to a domestic uh, altercation between two males. Someone has been stabbed. They're saying EMS and fire's in route. They just told us to step it up. So essentially that means lights and sirens. All right, it's looking like it's gonna be that house right there. My son, he just said, my son, he don't walk down that street right here. Where is he? He don't walk down that with a little bottle with a red shirt and blue jeans. Why well, I fell red shirt with you. Yeah. Where is the guy that got stabbed? He right there in the middle. 305 dispatch, you can show us on scene. All right, buddy. Yeah, come on in. You got stabbed? Okay, I can't see it, buddy. Okay, close it. Put pressure on it, okay? You just got stabbed one time? Slice right here. Where? Right there. Okay. Okay, keep your arm like that, okay? Yeah. Did you say Harper is going to look for it? I don't know what's going on, but he ain't had no business stabbing my child. Okay, so who, who what's his relationship to y'all? My, my boyfriend. boyfriend. He's your boyfriend? Yeah. So your boyfriend stabbed him? Yeah. Okay. So then what's his relationship to you? 
That's my grandson. So what happened tonight? We was arguing on the front porch about mm -hmm. some woman he kept, he went running behind over here across the street to the okay. house. He slapped me, I slapped him back. He slapped me, I slapped him back. We all got something on the porch. Okay. Then later on, I came on in here. And then he slapped me again. Okay. And we got to tussle again. Okay. And that's how the TV got broke. I Did we you. all fighting and then it happened? Yeah. Well, yeah, it happened while, well, yeah. He got up and just walked up to his dad. And then Mike's on the counter. Where is it? It's right there on that counter. That's the one that was used. All right, perfect. Then I'm not gonna touch that. I'm away for CID. His uh, left forearm has a laceration. So yeah. deep. I mean, it's okay. And what about your abdomen, sir? Everybody. The knife is still here, so we haven't touched the knife. How um, bad are our A stab wound to the lower abdomen, not as deep. The one on the forearm is pretty deep, um, but it's still gonna be probably I guess all. I need his his IDs in his back pocket. Yeah, yeah. I got another one right here. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Video of it? Yep. It was it was one seven forty. I thought it was recording that one. Seven forty. But this has the stabbing in it. It might. Perfect. Cool. Do you see it in there? <laughs> There's a knife in his hand. So he took it away. Yeah, he he took the knife from him. Yeah. Okay. The mother of the son that got stabbed. She has a video of the whole thing. The suspect was sitting down and the son hit him first and they all started fighting the suspect. And from that video, it makes it look like the son was the suspect and the suspect is actually the victim. It shows the son punched him first. He walked up to hit him, punched him. What down the street for that pop What that? I don't know, bro. Uh, half a gallon. And he was on the ground. Half a gallon of taco block or anything. He got hit and fell on the ground and the son was on top of him. Started out as aggravated assault, family violence, but due to further evidence being revealed, it was actually self-defense. So that changed from an aggravated assault report and warrant to a simple battery family violence. So when we clear from here, we're not gonna go on a manhunt to find this guy. If I see him, I'll get a statement from him. I'll make contact with him, immediately tell him, hey man, you're not in trouble, but I need a statement from you because you're technically the victim. Um, but the investigators are taking over the case and then we're going to go out and get after it. We're going to go find something else to do. I got into law enforcement after I graduated college with my biology degree, and I determined that being behind a desk and in a lab was not going to be fun for me. Uh, I was gonna be a doctor. You kinda get burned out with studying. Oh, I would pull all-nighters all the time, which actually worked out great in law enforcement because you know, I don't think you sleep either. You're lucky <laughs> if you get six hours of sleep a day. I just got flagged down by a white car that pulled over on the side of the road. I'm going to go turn around and see what's going on, maybe help her out a little bit. There's some guys over yeah. there using this lady's mailbox as a drug drop. Ooh! There are drugs inside the mailbox. So it's Yellow House? Okay, I'll go take their drugs. So. Yeah, I have no problem taking their drugs. Okay, I'll take care of that. Thank you. So we're gonna go down to the neighborhood and see if we can go find this mailbox and find their drugs and make it a less pleasant day for them. Maybe I'll get lucky to see somebody stick their hand in the mailbox. Let's see, yellow house. Definitely got some drugs. Unfortunately, it'll be found drugs. This is not going to be charged with anybody because there's nobody here. I guess I might not catch them today, but today I'll take their drugs. It's like we got promethazine with codeine. Marijuana. 
Two more marijuana. Looks like we got some pills in here. Looks like oxys or hydros, one or the other. I'll have to run them. But they're just going to be for destruction. I'm pretty sure our drug dealers are the ones down there walking, wondering why I'm standing here at this mailbox. I'm going to walk, check other mailboxes. B10 to 113. So when you get here, can you make contact with the individuals in the front of that gas station? They seem to be looking back at me while I'm checking these mailboxes. 10-4. I'll be there in a minute. Oh, look, we got another bag of weed right here. They just drop it off in a mailbox, and I guess somebody else picks it up. I'm not quite sure, but I'm sure they're just hiding it. We're looking for a guy in a red hoodie. 113 to B10. Is it the guy at the bus station? Red hoodie with it pulled over his head and blue jeans. Yeah, that's a 10-4. He's going to be across the street at Oliver and Warren. Yeah, go make contact, and let's, let's see if we can identify that one. Ain't nothing like a neighborhood stroll. <laughs> it's like trick-or-treating with narcotics. What's going on today? You were just trying to watch what we were doing? Probably not a good idea to watch the cops. It makes us nervous. Y'all see y'all doing the, the real cops thing. <laughs> yeah, something like that. You got anything in your pockets that's going to poke me, still be hurting me? You got an ID on you? I ain't got my ID on. You got a scale. Uh, I'll be smoking yeah, weed for that time I do about yeah, around that I-20. You got anything on you? Mm -hmm. You sure? No, you smell like weed. Yeah. yeah. Forgot about that one. You forgot about you? Yeah, you gonna hang this up for a minute. You got anything else on you? Mm -hmm. I turn around for me real fast. You know anything about the weed right there? Relax your hands. You gonna lie to me now or later? I was just trying to see what y'all were doing this at. Oh. 113 dispatch, be advised. I have one black metal team. Apparently, that gentleman has uh, narcotics on him as well, which I'm sure he's one of the ones that were hiding it. Um, I found uh, on his person in his uh, left sweater pocket, I found a pre-rolled uh, blunt, found some money, found a scale in his right pocket. What'd you get? No, about 14 grams of marijuana he was hidden here. He says that he buys his weed from over here and that he had bought it, walked that way, rolled himself a blunt, then saw us and got curious. That's why he was staring. I haven't ran him yet and he doesn't have an ID on him, so I'm going to do that and see if he has a warrant or anything like that. What's your name? You know DeMarco? That's your little brother? Let me see the photo. Run the brother. You're not lying to us, right? Lying to us is another offense. What's your brother's date of birth? You don't know your brother's date of birth? How long you had them gold teeth? Let's bring them out. Step off on me. This you man is you ain't got no ID. Your brother got a warrant. Your brother got gold teeth just I'll, like I'll, you? Yeah, you do. I don't, I'll him like that, but he, yeah, he. Okay. Danny should have a fingerprint scanner. Let me call him real quick. Hey, do you have the fingerprint scanner at the sub? I can't tell the difference between this guy and his brother and they keep using each other's name and one has warrants and one doesn't. You gonna come over here? We'll just hang tight then. I think he's the brother. The one with the warrants? Yeah, I think he's the one with the warrants. If he has the warrants, he'll go to jail. If he doesn't, he's on the driver's side of my vehicle. Hey, what's your name, brother? Floyd, step on out for me. What's your last name? Miss you left you? It's fine. It's the right. All right. Where you stay at? You're homeless? See, what's your brother's name? His name is Marco. Okay. Is it Marco or Dumb Marco? Well, it's, it's the Marco, but they call him. Y'all call him Marco. Okay. Have a seat in your car for me. All right, that's Mr. Marco. Okay. <laughs> that's what I thought it was. That's what I figured. All right. All right. Cool. So, Why'd you lie? You know, that's an extra charge, right? Why would you do that? I just make it to another day. Thank you for coming out. Is that... He's going to be going to jail today for the uh, Superior Court bench warrant that he has, which just means he has felony charges that he missed court for because uh, he must have been let out on bond previously. Some more drugs off the street. Generally what I'm looking for at night is um, as simple as it sounds, anything different than anything else. So if you're the teacher in class, right, and you're looking over your class and everybody's got their head down, the one kid looking up, looking at you, that's the guy doing something wrong. 
This is our friend. We deal with him all the time. He's well-known transient around here. And right now, this establishment doesn't want him here, so we're going to ask him, see if he'll leave. And more likely than not, he's just going to be like, OK, and walk away. OK. Well, you out of here? All right. What's your plan for the night? I don't want it. Thanks, though. Be safe and try and stay dry, OK? All right. Did you know him? You don't know I've seen every. He knows me. I've, I've seen him everywhere from here to Hillsborough to Forest Grove. I've seen him everywhere. What's that? Oh, there's film in the, the police department. Did he look drunk, dude? Yeah, he did. We're just chit-chatting, and this guy walks in, and he's asking us about the camera, and he seems like he's drunk, so he might be a DUI. So we're, this is crazy. Now we're standing there looking to get more beer. Oh, yeah. Michael's this one? We got an IPA in the this, there's an IPA in the middle of the console right now. What's up? Are you gonna sit over there and wait for him to leave or what? I was gonna sit over by Hertz, yeah. I think I'm just gonna go make contact with him right now before he even leaves parking lot. I'd much rather make contact before he puts anybody else in danger. Stop! That's not ideal. Yes. Hey, Officer Severs and Bearden Police. I just talked to you over there at the store, remember? Yeah. Hey, the, the reason why I'm stopping you is because at the store when you were talking to me, you were swaying, and I saw that you have bloodshot white your eyes. Okay, and so I'm, I've seen some signs of impairment. Oh, I'm, I'm just tired. You're just tired? Okay. Will you provide physical cooperation and submit to the tests? No, I will not. Okay, then step out of the car. You're under arrest. Are you serious? I'm dead serious. For what? Are you gonna be test yes or no? I don't know, whatever. Okay. How you step out and go right to the sidewalk, okay? Okay, first thing I'm gonna do is just pat you down. Okay, put your hands on your back. You're not under arrest right now. Okay, can you take your hat off for me? Perfect, so I'm gonna move this green light left to right up and down. I want you to follow it with your eyes and your eyes only and not move your head, do you understand? Yes. Do you have any questions? No. Okay. Okay, follow it up. Okay, so when I ask you to begin, you're gonna walk nine heel touching toe steps down that line, and then you're gonna walk nine heel toe steps back down that line. All right, go ahead and begin. Better. But you've definitely been drinking, and you definitely had too much to drink to drive. Are you serious? 100%. Hands on right, your back. Pass all those tests. They're not pass fail. Okay, they, they, they give me clues. Yeah. Are you kidding me? No. Dude, seriously, man? <laughs> All right. We're gonna walk back to my car. Can you separate your feet for oh, me? Are you sick? Separate your feet. Come on. I, you can't, I can smell it on you, dude. Bro. All right, go and take a seat for me, please. Um, oof. Yeah, it's a heavy odor. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna start getting back. Yeah. Oh, well. So I'm finding a lot of burnt tin foil, aluminum foil, which I know people do to either smoke heroin or <coughs> fentanyl or blues. So clearly you don't have that if you're an everyday person. So I don't know if he's smoking blues. I don't know if it's heroin or what, but I was just like, do you notice how big his wrists were? How big his hands were? Yeah, he's, he's got, looks like he's got a lot of inflammation. Or something. Yeah. You can see his foot too, the tremors. Yeah, his foot. big time. Yeah, he's got something else on board. So, because he whips out of the parking lot, just, I mean, people were, as we were there, people were walking up on foot and riding up on bikes. And the way he whips out, he could have easily hit somebody right then. And we did tests and the test just confirmed already what I already knew, which is that he's, too impaired to be driving. So it's the right place, right time for us. 